So we're on step six, and as we stand here today in the middle of a pandemic, this step is actually quite uh, timely in that really the idea is if you can't be in your classroom, these are some tools that you can use to be digital for your students. So I've put a few multimedia activities and a few just highly engaging ways that you can get uh, assessment and uh, interact with your students uh, kind of in a remote way. Now, we, I did put just recently this online toolkit, which was developed uh, by the BOCES across the state and our local BOCES at the WINIREC. And that has a variety of, of just remote learning tools that may be of benefit uh, should we need to go to a hybrid or an online model for school. So you'll see a variety of resources that all fall under the kind of online uh, toolkit that we hope will be uh, beneficial. I also put this, it's called a remove BG, which will remove uh, background images from photos. So say you wanted to put yourself um, in a photo uh, in front of the Eiffel Tower, and though you've never been to the Eiffel Tower, you get a picture of yourself and you get a picture of the Eiffel Tower. And with this program, you can remove the background of you and then kind of put yourself uh, in front of the Eiffel Tower and the other image. So kind of fun. So remove uh, background image is that website. I also have a free PDF editor and form filler. I know PDFs can often be a way to share things with students, but how can you get students to interact with it? This is a tool for that. I also have several, uh, I have Kahoot, I have quizzes, uh, which is down here, and Gimkit. Uh, those are online kind of quiz generators. They're highly engaging. Uh, Quizlet would probably be another one. I'll probably add that to this resource. Um, so these are all kind of online quiz generators that are really nice that you could use remotely. You don't have to be in class, although they're just as fun as if you're a face-to-face -face instruction as well. I'm sure many of you have probably seen Kahoot or even quizzes. Uh, and uh, they're highly engaging and they're a great way to get some um, assessment information in a fun and lively way. Uh, Actively Learn has a lot of uh, reading materials for students, so a lot of uh, student-centered uh, reading materials you'll find here for kids to read, and uh, I think you'll find that's a pretty good site. So there's a lot of news and articles. There's ELA content, social studies, uh, etc. So you'll find a lot of good uh, reading uh, documents and lessons for students within here that you can adjust based on your students um, reading level. So uh, it's a really nice site. Again, there's a freemium and a premium version of, of Actively Learn, uh, but I have heard positive things from teachers. Uh, Wiser.me is also another place where you can find some curriculum ideas. This is an app, so uh, you can do some quick and easy. It's kind of uh, online worksheets for students and they're developed by teachers, uh, for teachers. And if you're familiar with Pinterest, uh, a lot of these come from that Pinterest type uh, look and feel. Um, this is something on Creative Commons, just about how uh, you can share and create um, with, with people from around the world. Control Alt Achieve, I've mentioned it several times. It's just a great site that you can uh, basically, Eric Kurt shows you how you can digitize yourself completely. We've got some uh, resource libraries for standards. Uh, and then I've got Edgy. And Edgy allows you, if you wanted to bring in, say, a PDF or a Word document, and then you can share it with your students and they can actually um, write, annotate together so people can see each other's comments and annotate reading documents, um, even like infographics, that sort of thing. So it's a really good one uh, if you want to share with students some reading materials. And then last but not least, I put this new Visions uh, curriculum and they basically, it's a charter school, but they've created a complete curriculum uh, that you can share, download, use with your classes. I believe it's designed for Google Classroom, so it would probably be better with Google Classroom, but uh, I think you could probably manage it with a uh, with some of the resources and uh, they've got a lot of great things that they've developed and made freely available for schools and teachers. So those are just some of the resources to kind of digitize yourself as a teacher to do some different things that maybe you would do traditionally in a classroom. These are tools that hopefully will help you um, go beyond your classroom and digitize yourself.